What is good, all you Dolphins fans out there? Hope you're all having a great one. So, the Miami Dolphins 2021 schedule has come out, and at first glance, i got to say, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. This schedule looks pretty favorable, in my opinion, besides the buyer being week 14, which is a little late. Would have rather it been, you know, around week 9 or 10, but we can live with that. But yeah, just looking through the weeks, the toughest matchups we got here is obviously the Bills, the Colts, the Buccaneers, the Ravens, and possibly the Saints. We'll see what they're going to look like with that Drew Brees. But come December 27th, we're going to have an idea of, you know, where the Saints are coming up to the end of the season. Obviously, in this video, I'm just going to go over week by week, uh, just give my opinion on, you know, how I think the Dolphins are going to fare in that matchup. And I'm just going to give a rough estimate for... How many wins I think the Dolphins are going to have in 2021, which I think is definitely going to be over 10 looking at this schedule. So starting week one here, we're going to go up to play the Patriots just like last year. And hopefully we're going to have a much better showing than how we played against the Patriots up in Foxborough last year. Last year, we were just completely flat. We had no answers for Cam Newton and yeah, our offense and defense just really weren't clicking on all cylinders and we really didn't have our team together at that point. But but week one here against the Patriots, I think we've got a great shot to win this game. So I'm thinking it's going to be a win here week one. I think our offense and defense is going to be improved. We're going to be an even bigger juggernaut than we were last year. I mean, we weren't really an elite team in 2020, but we definitely showed the signs of, you know, being one of the best teams around. And I think 2021 is the time when I think we can really step out to the spotlight, you know, and make some noise in the AFC and in the NFL. Moving on to week two, we got a home game and we're versing the Buffalo Bills. This is definitely going to be a tough game. It can go either way. We'll have to see, you know, what the Bills are going to look like at that point in week two. But yeah, I could see this game going either way. It is at home, so that definitely does help. But for now, I'm just going to come back to that game because that can go either way. And yeah, I'll add that game to my uh, win tally at the end. So week three, we got an away game and we're playing in the brand new Las Vegas Raiders Stadium. And I think we can definitely come out with a win. Here in Las Vegas, uh, last year, we went over there and beat them with a much lesser team. I think we're going to be much more dominant in 2021. So I definitely could see the Dolphins winning this. But yeah, we'll have to see what the Raiders look like. They've got a complete remake on their offensive line. So we've got to see what they look like. But yeah, we'll see if uh, Henry Ruggs can take that next step. And if their third round pick, who I'm incredibly high on, Brian Edwards out of South Carolina last year, I think he's got a chance to be a great receiver in the league but yeah we'll see what they look like and we'll see you know if their defense has improved on the 2020 season because yeah the Raiders defense was absolutely horrible in 2020 which it has been the last five or so seasons moving on to week four here we got the Indianapolis Colts and just like the Bills game in week two I could see this game going either way I think the Colts just like us are going to be much improved in 2021 they've got Carson Wentz coming over We'll see how well he's going to play this year, but I think he's got a chance to definitely improve, especially hooking back up with Frank Reich as the offensive coordinator and the play caller. I think Carson Wentz, yeah, he's got a chance to return to his previous form, but I think the Colts are going to be one of the best teams in the AFC this year, and yeah, this is going to be a tough game. We'll come back to this uh, later on in the video. So week five, we've got an away game against the Buccaneers, and this is going to be incredibly difficult. They're pretty much bringing back their entire Super Bowl team. Tom Brady's coming back. I think he's going to play the same level he did in 2020. I mean, he had 44 touchdowns last year and like eight picks or something. So he had a tremendous year. They've got everyone coming back on offense and defense. It's going to be an incredibly hard game. And I could see this being a loss for us. But, you know, after four games, we'll see what we look like going up to Tampa week five, you know, because we could be playing on par with uh, Tampa. And we'll just see, you know, where we're at, you know, at that point of the season. But for now, I'm just going to count that as a loss. So week six, we're going across the pond to London and we're playing the Jaguars October 17th, week six, which is going to be 9.30 in the morning, which I think is Eastern time. Not really sure, but I can definitely see us winning this, even though they added Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne and a bunch of great players in free agency, cornerback Shaquille Griffin, and Urban Meyer as the head coach. We'll see what they're going to look like week six. You know, they could look like a playoff team or they could look like a top 10 draft team. But yeah, I definitely can see us winning the week six game in London. And yeah, I'm confident we can do that. Week seven, we got a home game against the Falcons. And just like the Jaguars game, I'm pretty confident we can get the job done. They added Kyle Pitts to their list of great weapons. Obviously, they got Julio Jones, who I think is still the best receiver in the league. Calvin Ridley. 
And obviously, Matt Ryan playing at quarterback. I think the offense is going to be pretty good, but their defense is still a major work in progress. So I think the Dolphins can really come out with the win here, Week 7, against the Atlanta Falcons. Moving on to Week 8, our second game of the season against Buffalo. And it's a away game, October 31st. Just like Week 2, it's going to be a tough game. It can go either way, and this is going to be a great rivalry between the Bills and Miami, the Dolphins, for a long time with Josh Allen and Sean McDermott as head coach and Brian Flores, you know, showing what he can do the last two years. This is going to be a great rivalry between these two teams, but being an away game, uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to give it to the Bills, and hopefully we can bounce back week nine against the Texans. We got a home game, and I think they're going to be one of the worst teams in the league next year, especially if Deshaun Watson isn't going to play. The Texans are definitely going to be picking top five in the draft next season because, yeah, their team is looking incredibly bleak. J.J. Watt's gone. DeAndre Hopkins left a couple of years ago. This, this isn't the same team we saw three years ago, and I think it's definitely going to be a win for the Dolphins. You can definitely tick this off as a dominant win for the team week nine because I think the team is going to be more than warmed up and we're going to be clicking on offense, defense, and special teams. We're going to be tremendous this year. Moving on to week 10. This is going to be a pretty tough game. we got the Ravens at home. November 11th. It's going to be a tough game, but we'll have to see what Lamar Jackson and the Ravens look like this coming season. Who knows? that They might not be the same dominant team we've seen in the last two years. They might take a step back and, you know, win 9 to 10 games. Especially if they don't stay healthy or, you know, or if Lamar Jackson possibly has a major injury. He did, he did injure his knee last year, so there's a chance he could possibly, you know, miss some more time in 2021, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I'll come back to this uh, later on. So on to week 11, our first game of the season against the Jets, November 21st, and we're going up to New Jersey to play Zach Wilson and Robert Sala and all those guys. Uh, thank God Adam Gase is out of the league because, I mean, I couldn't stand seeing the guy on the sidelines and his press conferences. I couldn't help but listening to his press conferences just to see how much of an idiot he really is, just how much of a arrogant and ignorant prick he is. And yeah, he didn't disappoint, but they're a brand new remade team and we'll just have to see what they look like at this point in the season. I definitely could see them improving on their 2020 season. They had a pretty good draft. They got Zach Wilson, Elijah Vera Tucker to protect him, Elijah Moore, the wide receiver from Ole Miss. They signed Corey Davis, wide receiver from the Tennessee Titans. They got a real chance here to improve and yeah, we'll see what Zach Wilson looks like here week 11. But I definitely could see us getting the win there against the Jets week 11. So on to week 12. We've got the Panthers at home, and I think this could be another definite win for us. We'll see what Sam Darnold looks like here in his fourth year. I think he's going to play much better than he did his first three seasons with the Jets, especially with Joe Brady calling plays and Matt Rule. I think Matt Rule's the real deal. I think he's going to be a great head coach in the league. But yeah, we'll just have to see what the Panthers look like here week 12. But being at home, I definitely could see us winning this. So, on to week 13. we got a home game against the New York Football Giants. Um, this could be a pretty tough game, especially if everything you know starts to come together for the Giants. Uh, if Daniel Jones starts to play a lot better, if Saquon Barkley can stay healthy, and if the additions of you know Kenny Golladay and Kadarius Toney in the draft you know, make a huge difference for them, Definitely could see them winning, you know, eight to nine games this season. But being at home, I could see us getting the win here. And I think this is going to be a great matchup here in week 13. We've got two ex-Belichick disciples going against each other, Brian Flores and Joe Judge. I think they're both the real deal. I think Joe Judge is a hell of a coach. It's going to definitely work for him up there with the Giants because he's a hard worker. And just like Coach Flo, he knows how to use his players and he knows how to stay competitive in football games. I definitely could see this being a competitive uh, game against the Giants. But I think this is going to be one of the wins for us. So week 14, we've got a bye. It's a little late in the season, but it's going to give us a great chance here to rest for these last four games. The last four games in December and January. And yeah, it's going to give us a chance to recharge, get ready for the last quarter of the season, and hopefully, you know, get prepared and get healthy uh, going into the postseason. Hopefully we're going to be a playoff team this year. I'm confident we are. So, week 15, we got the Jets at home, and I could definitely see us getting the win here. It's saying that December 18th or 19th, so we'll see when that's going to be. Probably the 19th, because the next game's the 27th, so we'll see how that's going to turn out. But, yeah, 
Week 13 against the Jets at that point in the season. I mean, week 15 against the Jets. I definitely could see us being a pretty formidable team at that point, And I think we can definitely take out the Jets there at home week 15. On to week 16. We've got a away game December 27th against the Saints. Uh, we'll see what the Saints are going to look like. Like I said at the beginning of the video, who knows what they're going to look like without Drew Brees. They definitely have proven to be able to win games without Drew Brees under center because they're a very d deep team. They're incredibly well coached with Sean Payton and all those other guys on the coaching staff. I think they're going to be a pretty good team, but yeah, I think they're going to take a step back and not be the same dominant Saints we've seen the last four years. I and mean, the Saints were great in 2017, 2018, 2019. Last year, they were pretty good, weren't as dominant as the previous three seasons, but they still had a chance to make some noise in the postseason, but they weren't able to. But yeah, we'll see if it's going to be Jameis Winston or Taysom Hill under center. But yeah, I could see us going up against the Saints and uh, getting the win there. Week 17, we got back-to-back -back away games and we're going up to Tennessee to play the Titans. And I really could see the Titans taking a step back this year. They lost Corey Davis. Their main weapon is going to be AJ Brown, who was shown to be, you know, a pretty incredible wide receiver the last two seasons. I really think their weaponry is, you know, kind of going to be downgraded. In 2021, Derrick Henry, obviously, is still going to be there under center. And we've shown an ability to stop Henry in the past, so hopefully we can do that again here. January 2nd against the Titans, but yeah, like I said, I really think they're going to take a step back. Their defense is super depleted. I mean, it was depleted last year, and they added a number of great guys in the draft. I can't remember a number of their picks right now off the top of my head, but yeah. We'll see what the Titans are going to look like here week 17, but I think they're going to take a step back and not quite be the same team we've seen in the last two years. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty competitive game here. So last game of the season, January 9th, we got a home game week 18 against the Patriots. I definitely think we've got a great chance here to win the last game of the season. Tom Brady's no longer under center. The Patriots are going to be a completely different team. Who's going to be starting for them? Is it going to be Mac Jones? Is it going to be Cam Newton? We'll see what they look like, you know, week 18 of the season, but I don't think they're going to be on par with us in the AFC East. I think by week 18, the Dolphins will have proved themselves as, you know, one of the best teams in the AFC, and I think that we're definitely going to get a win here week 18 against the Patriots at home. So when looking back over the schedule, I definitely could see us going, you know, 12-5. and five. I think that's very realistic when you see the way we performed last year. With Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tua under center, I think Tua is definitely going to improve this year. We got guys like Jalen Waddle and Will Fuller in the lineup now, and I think that's going to transform this offense. We added Jalen Phillips and Javon Holland on defense to our already dominant defense we saw last year, so I think our defense is going to be one of the best in the league. We're going to absolutely suffocate teams this coming season. I'm very confident of that, and I think we can win 12 or 13 games. I'm confident we can get that done if we stay healthy. We got Jacoby Preset, so I'm confident, you know, if we do take Tua out or if Tua does get injured, I think Jacoby Preset can continue to win games for us because our offense is going to be much improved this season, like I said, and I'm confident, you know, a guy like Preset can get it done for us. But yeah, I'm super excited for this season. I think we're going to be a playoff caliber team. We're going to be competing for the AFC East and one of the top seeds in the AFC. I'm very confident of that because... Coach Flores has shown himself to be the truth. He knows what he's doing when coming up with game plans. He knows how to use his football players. He knows how to get the best out of his coaching staff and the players. The sky's the limit for this team. And I'm just super pumped to see what the, this team is going to look like week one. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of the Dolphins' schedule. Give me a record prediction. How do you think the team is going to fare this season? Uh, let me know what you thought of my thoughts on the schedule. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, it's fins up, baby. Cheers, folks. Cannot wait for September 12th. <laughs>